Despite his multiple accomplishments throughout his career in Pittsburgh, Evgeny Malkin over the years has displayed some notable jerk moments. From spearing to high hits to high sticking, the Russian superstar has seemingly seen some blurred lines when it comes to fair play. In this video, I'm going to highlight some of Malkin's jerk moments thus far. And with that, here are the top six jerk moments from Evgeny Malkin. During the last game played in Pittsburgh of 2019, things got pretty heated between the Penguins and the Ottawa Senators. In what just started as a scuffle between Malkin and Brady Kachuk, quickly escalated as an all-out brawl between the two teams behind the net. And one of those players to join in on the scrum was John Gabriel Pajot, who decided to give Malkin a shove as he was retrieving his stick from the ice. And as you would expect, Gino took exception to this and gave Pajot a not-so-subtle stick to the face before skating away. Following the game for his actions, Malkin was fined the maximum allowed amount for the high stick of $5,000. Now, it doesn't take a genius to know that whenever the Penguins face their interstate rival, the Philadelphia Flyers, things tend to get physical and escalate pretty quickly. And they did just that during the third period of a regular season game played in Philadelphia. As Malkin received the puck in the neutral zone, he was immediately met with resistance as Jacob Voracek attempted to gain possession near the boards. After turning the puck over due to the confrontation, Malkin decided to take his frustration out on Voracek by giving him a shot to the head and a stick to the face simultaneously. And yet another altercation that resulted in a fine for Malkin took place not long after the game began at the Staples Center. Malkin, who saw Dustin Brown approaching in the offensive zone, decided to play a little pool jock style by giving Brown a spear. Brown, as you would expect, instantly fell to the ice while wincing in pain before eventually making it over to the bench. Malkin, on the other hand, was dealt a $5,000 fine for going after Brown's family jewels. In the final frame of play, during a regular season meeting against the Winnipeg Jets, Malkin decided that the best way to possibly even the score and get into the game was to lay a questionable hit on Winnipeg's captain. Wheeler, who was deep in his own zone, immediately took a hit to the head courtesy of number 71, who left his feet in order to introduce his shoulder to the forward's head. As Wheeler lied motionless before eventually gathering himself, his teammates immediately came to his aid and proceeded to avenge their captain in front of the Penguins bench. Malkin was given a minor penalty for interference on the play. Within the first few minutes of the last period in Washington, things for TJ Oshie quickly took a turn for the worse. As Oshie, who was attempting to strip the puck from Evgeny Malkin, was immediately blindsided by the forward shoulder and sent tumbling to the ice. And while it may have seemed more like Oshie skated into Malkin, the officials apparently didn't see it that way, and gathered that Malkin raised his elbow just enough to be given an early exit from the contest, as he received a 5-minute major in result. In case you didn't already know, Malkin tends to naturally see red more often than not when facing Philadelphia, and did so within the final minutes of play in the city of not-so-brotherly love. As Malkin gained possession near the blue line, he was greeted with some opposition by Flyers forward Michael Roffel. After obviously getting worked up following the physicality, Malkin decided to get even by swinging his stick with purpose Raffles way. This, as you would hope, drew the attention of the officials who decided to give Malkin a match penalty for his actions. Following the game, Gino was also given supplemental discipline and was dealt a one-game suspension on the play.